weeks. I want to ask you a question. If you don't want to answer it, that's perfectly fine. But I have seen you uh, talking with Prime Minister Modi, and you know, uh, we as journalists used to watch and saying, "Ki okay, three minutes ho gaya, six minutes ho gaya. Abhi bhi baat kar rahe." kya baat kar rahe honge and very animated conversation you don't give away anything with your expression he never gives away anything with his expression very uh, poker faced and you have this conversation going you've met with chief ministers prime ministers and all what was how have your interactions and presidents as well and presidents how's your interaction been with him uh, as a person to person level or, or with all of them you mean yeah you know it's it uh, the interaction is i feel it's extraordinarily enriching because um, i respect the political spectrum because i'm not one to you know sort of belittle political spectrum even if they are critical of the work which we do because i feel that democracy is sustained by institutions at different levels by civil society mm. very important ingredient of uh, democracy by the legislature by the executive and by the judiciary and talking to you know different ends of the political spectrum for instance uh president pranab mukherjee had um, you know had a wonderful convention which he developed of calling individual judges of the supreme court and their spouses to come and meet him mm. and it was amazing because uh the honorable president would have done his complete research on the work of that judge your hobbies your interests what you have written on and he would he have would this have, knowing pranab you know, ji he yeah, would have done in your parents have, also he would have a free flowing yeah. dialogue and he would ask you why don't you ask something about me about my background that you would find interesting <laughs> so i would i asked him about his time as a junior minister in the government as a senior cabinet minister the work which he did is in different ministries and not in terms of the decisions which he took but huh. the processes of reasoning and so on and so forth the books which he read and it was enormously enriching likewise you know i spoke at length with uh president ramnath kovind okay and i learned so much about life from mm. uh from his own personal history mm. in terms of the work which he did even before he became the the president of india mm. i have had the good fortune to engage with uh, president uh, draupadi murmu and you know one thing which comes through my interactions with the honorable president is a sense of compassion and you know the the desire that justice to should reach out to the most marginalized of groups uh the president is so aware of social reality when she spoke for instance in the supreme court constitution day uh celebrations she said well why are we crowding our jails with petty offenders mm. you know she is aware of social reality uh which affects our under trials and that came through when you know we had these deliberations not on any particular case not at all mm. but just about an understanding of uh, their backgrounds their social life the way they look upon indian society their vision for the good society mm. and in that whole process you are really enriched as uh, as 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 a human being and prime minister modi please. and likewise you know about when you know obviously uh, say take for instance a case where i've had a selection committee meeting for selecting say the director of the central bureau of investigation mm. with the prime minister the leader of the opposition and mm. the chief justice of india you'd be surprised at the maturity at which discussions take place after the formal part of the meeting is uh, completed mm. uh the kind of discussions which take place are core discussions on the future good of our society okay there is no element of politics you have uh, you have the leader of the executive the prime minister mm. you have the leader of the opposition and you have the head of the indian judiciary mm. and there's a discussion on what's happening maybe in a different part of the world maybe sometimes in our neighborhood uh would he ask for your opinion on it and uh have a genuine discussion with you on say something of international importance say sub g20 maybe you know i read a lot apart from the law hmm. i economics is something which was very close to my heart history is very close to my heart hmm. and i wouldn't be i wouldn't stop short of giving my opinions if there was a conversation hmm. uh on any of these related subjects one thing which i found about the prime minister is that he is an extremely involved and careful listener hmm uh when someone speaks even when the leader of the opposition would speak over a cup of tea he would be focused completely 
on what was being spoken. Likewise, if I was, uh, you know, giving my opinion, even on the subject for which we were meeting, hmm. he would keep everything down and uh, and listen very, very closely. Okay. Uh, and that's what something which I found about uh, the Prime Minister in the course of uh, our official meetings. Hmm. Uh, and and uh, that's something which I feel is mutually enriching. Hmm. Uh, as I said, we never spoke about any case which we were to decide. Hmm. Uh, I'm sure he had his views about what we decided because mm. not all that we decided would necessarily favor the government. It would go the other way as well. But never once Electoral was, bonds yeah, is something was never, that Never once uh, did he speak about that. I mean, uh, okay. it was, well, it was a different jurisdiction altogether. Okay. Click here to watch the full episode.